Hi, my name is Pratham Dave and I am from Mumbai, India. I have made this website on my school that is Sid Jugalal Pudar Academy. This website consists of four pages as we can see the home page, admission, gallery and contact us. The home page has all general information related to the college, to the school. The admission page has all the information related to admission, the age criteria, admission policies and all other things. The gallery has some images of the school and the fourth page contact us as all means by which you can contact the school. Now, right now I am on contact us page and if I want to go back to home page, then I have two ways. I can either click directly on the home button or I can even click on the logo that will also take us to the home page. Doesn't matter which page you are on, admission or gallery. When you click on the icon or the symbol, you will go back to the home page. So this was the front end of our website. And this is the back end of our website that is the code that we have written. So this is our index.html page is our home page. All the information about the home page is written over here. Then we have the second page that is admission.html. It consists of all the information about the admission page. Then school images is the page for our gallery. It consists of the photos that you are able to see over there. And then contact.html has the code written to display the contact of the school. Now there is one more page that is main.css. Main.css file is the file which we can call as the heart of our website because all the stylings that you saw, the colors and all are been written over here. The padding, the spacing between lines, the font size, the font style. Everything is written in main.css and further we have referred main.css to every page of our website like you'll see in school images there is main.css and admission.html there is main.css so that our page acquires all the attributes that are present in main.css. Now you'll see even colors.css is over here. So what is colors.css doing? First we will see that there is a file called colors.scss which only has one thing written background equals golden rod color in it. So the web browsers cannot directly read the scss file. So we have converted the scss file to colors.css file. So the basic function of colors.css is to hover golden rod color when you, you must have seen when we hovered over home or admission, there was a golden color had been displayed. So that is been displayed from here. So we have also linked the colors.css on every page. So this was the backend of my website. Thank you.